you think, what are you seeing this year? What's going on in the market now? And what do you see happening this year? Well, last year, at the end of last year, we were we were expecting interest rates to to go up. I mean, that was all the indications. And and now hearing different different reports, I'm going to say that it's still going to be a seller's market. Inventory levels are going to remain tight. You heard it so, here first, kids. Exactly. It's going to be low, so it's still a good time to sell. I don't know how much more appreciation that we can see. I mean, there's been a huge growth in that. There was one report that came out the last 11 months. We've seen a decline in home appreciation, not home sales, but the the how quickly home prices are going up. So at the rate they're appreciating, absolutely right, which is good. We need it to normalize. Yeah, because you don't want to be don't like wanna, California. Yeah, we don't want to have that bubble. No, right. And I think we've seen some areas. I mean, you've seen appreciation as much as fifteen percent or so. Absolutely. But even still, with that appreciation, if you look over the last several years, there's still some people are just getting back to even. And some people are just, they're finally seeing some appreciation. If you take the average, still 3 4% if you take it over the last five years. Correct. You know, and that makes sense. If you go to count in the recession and us going into it a little later than everybody else, not as deep, coming back out, that seems to make sense to me. Yeah. Except we're overpriced by 11%. Right? <laughs> except, except for the picture <laughs> rating. Dang it. So, all right. So you think still a seller's market. So then let's talk about the seller's market. So a lot of sellers in the winter, it's pretty standard that people say, don't list in the winter, nobody's buying. What do you say to that? It's a myth. I mean, there's two, one report, and I'm obviously big on reports, but you know, Redfin Real Estate, it's a brokerage in Seattle, did a, did a report over the last four years of home sales during the wintertime, wintertime being through December 20th and through March 20th. And uh, they had found that there was a larger number of homes that had sold during, during that period than even the busier time, which is, everybody says, the spring and summer months. Right. But the the main thing that we're hitting on was that they Redfin had noticed that February was one of the best times to list your home. Really? Yeah. So that's what we're really trying to get out to our clients right now. Um, homes listed in February, sixty six percent of those homes sold in less than ninety days. Hey, that's pretty. That's great. That's where you want to be. Absolutely. So, you know, one is less competition. You know, dip, typically means that you can get a command a higher price in a faster amount of time. The buyers that are out there are more qualified. They're they're you know serious, absolutely serious. If they have children, they're moving their children during that during that school period. You know they're ready to go. Right, they're not just t- kicking tires as they say. Absolutely. Okay, so then people are listing their property in February or should, but they're not. I mean, what kind of inventory do we have out there right now? Still, I mean, just like I said, Collin County, one point one. Oh, months. I missed that. One point yeah. one. One point one. That's so, nothing. That's anemic. You, that's absolutely. not enough inventory. It take one month to sell everything in Collin County. Yeah, that's that's nothing. So there's no there's no properties out there. So I guess the message I'm hearing is, if you're a seller listening to this show, you need to list your home because one, we need the inventory. Yes. That means that there's buyers looking right now at a fa- really almost a faster pace than you can put them on the market. Yeah. There is not enough supply. There's still a great demand out there.